Okay, so we are going to enable and configure Lightning Knowledge for our community cloud. So what is Lightning Knowledge? It's basically a knowledge base for your community so that like customers can find answers without having to actually contact your staff. So they don't have to create a support ticket or customer service ticket. They can find the answers through the knowledge base on the community. So this is how we set it up. Let's go ahead and set it up. So go to your Trailhead Playground and we are going to Surface Setup and then we are going to View All and Knowledge Setup. All right. Now this is our playground. I am going to go to my gear icon and surface setup. And here we can hit the view all. Oh, it's already there. But you can search here as well. Knowledge setup. So we can follow the wizard here. Start so choose your lightning knowledge author since this is a playground we are just choosing ourselves but if you're managing a real salesforce org you can choose who will be responsible to create articles or knowledge based articles so if you have a thousand staff you can choose who will be responsible for creating and maintaining the, the articles up to date okay so this is just a trailhead playground. So we're going to go ahead with one author, which is yourself. Next, get organized. So data category group. Let's see what we want to do with um, our trailhead playground. Well, it doesn't say, so we're just going to skip um, setting that or customizing that and go with the default so i'm gonna next here and you are ready to write so finish if i go to my object manager we should have a knowledge object i'm gonna close this if i find knowledge we have a knowledge object and that a uh, wizard will create a new record type which is FAQ. So this is a default record type when you just um, enable lightning knowledge through that wizard there. So we have a new FAQ record type. You can create additional record types to differentiate what kind of articles. Maybe this is FAQ. Maybe it's a, a particular article to support a specific product or a specific service or maybe it's an internal knowledge for your uh, specific department maybe it's a billing department record type a sales department record type or you can just be creative however you want to organize that all right so let's go back here we have um, the faq now we want to create the fields on the knowledge object we are going to create one field only, which is text here. But you can create um, how how many uh, you want to have custom fields for to organize your your knowledge base. So, for example, if it's supporting a specific uh, product, maybe it's a car. What model of the car is this article for? If it's if we are doing maybe Tesla. Um, support we can define a field is it model y model x model 3 model s and then that specific um, model have its own knowledge base on how to to support um, customers having that that model that car model right so for this we are going to create one um, custom field named text okay three visible lines so it's just creating a regular uh, custom fields on any object basically 
So I'm going to hit new and just have a text there. Maybe text text area text area long, right? Text area long. And the label is text with three lines visible and that's pretty much it. And I'm going to hit save. Who will be able to see this? Let's make it visible for everybody. I'm going to hit next. We are going to add this into the lightning knowledge FAQ layout and the knowledge layout as well and save. Now, the next uh, stage is we are we are going to add a page, um, not a page layout. We are going to enable topics because we've done this right. We've done this just now when creating that new field. So we don't need to add it anymore. Yeah. Well, we can make sure it's under the title. So title and then text. So let's check the the knowledge layout, okay? The knowledge layout, uh, page layout. So if you go to page layout, um, edit this, and then you have text title URL. Well, is that what we want? Text title URL? Title text URL. So let's flip this title text URL and then save. And now we want to enable topics for object. Now, to do that, we have to switch to Salesforce Classic. So why do we want to enable topics? So we can categorize those articles based on topics so that when your um, community user logged in uh, into the community cloud, they will see articles categorized by topics so they can easily find what they are looking for under certain topics. That makes sense, right? So let's switch to Salesforce Classic and then we're going to search topics for objects under setup. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to copy this and we are going to switch to Salesforce Classic by clicking here, switch to Classic and then go to setup. I'm gonna close this banner. Topics for objects. And then it's already enabled, right? And for knowledge, oh, for knowledge, it's still disabled. Let's enable topics and then select the text fields. You want to use topics for a suggestion, probably the text, but let's see what do we want to use text and title. See text and title. Now let's enable both text and title. So these two will be a uh, categorized by topics. I'm going to save that. That is saved. Switch back to lightning experience and let's create some knowledge. Okay. So this is the first one. And I'm going to copy this guy. Well, you have to actually select it manually. Okay switch back to lightning experience there switch back and then i'm going to click over here and find knowledge that knowledge now we can make a couple of new knowledge article title is this the url is automatically populated this is the url within the community and i'm going to copy the actual hopefully this summer is the answer. So this is an FAQ, right? Frequently ask questions. And that I'm going to leave everything else as is save and new. The second one, oh, I, I should have checked under properties visible to customer. Let's do that. So this is the second one. And the text is this one and make sure it's also visible for customer. Visible to customer. So it's available 
on the community cloud later on okay the last one the third one is this one when will my bike arrive and the text would be this one over here and also we want to make this visible to customer visible to customer Okay, I'm going to hit save here and I'm going to modify the first one which we forgot to make it visible for customer. Graph articles and then the first one is this one. We want to edit this guy. Make it, oh, that's already visible to customer. So that's zero one. Oh, this one, one, yeah, the zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna go down and make it visible to customer before I click that box. Now we are going to publish all three. So if I'm gonna go here, draft, you can check those and publish. Um, publish now, right? Do we wanna publish now? Um, publish and then no, my changes do not affect existing translations. There. Um, that's all. Boom. Now, they are all published. Awesomeness. Okay, they're all published. Now, let's verify our steps. 100 points. I will see you on the next video where we will be adding knowledge to the community using topics bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.